What's up guys, here's another tutorial. Onyx released a new version of Onyx. One of the biggest updates to it is gonna have support for RPCS3 and jailbroken PS3s. Now what that means for you is that if you are playing Rock Band 2 Deluxe on the PS3 emulator RPCS3, which is how I, I normally play. You could tell because I have like 63 hours on this bitch. This makes it extremely, extremely brain dead to make customs for the game. So uh, I went ahead and installed Onyx for my PC. I'm running Windows, but if you're running Linux or whatever, uh, go ahead and download that. Now when you open it, after you're done installing, you're gonna click on batch process. Keep this window open right here. Go into your Clone Hero Songs folder and pick whatever you want. I'm gonna choose inverted. So here, uh, after I click and drag from my Clone Hero Song list, it's gonna show up in there if uh, you know the song.ne is proper. Um, now go to the RB2 tab, and now if you want to change your speed, you can use this, uh, you can use a single arrow for single number speeds, or you can use the double to go in increments of five. I actually have a folder for all my PS3 customs right here. I'm going to click the address bar, copy it, and then we're going to click the little folder, folder, paste, OK. And we're going to click create PS3 PKG file. Once you have your PKG here, have your RPCS3 open. This is the hardest part. You click and drag. Do you want to install this package? And let's say inverted.pkg or whatever the name of your song.pkg. You hit yes. And that's it. The next time you open up Rock Band 2, your song is going to be in there. So now that we know that that works, how do we want to get rid of it? Well, this is a little bit more big brain. So, um, in RPCS3, you're going to want to go to your root folder of where RPCS3 is. You're going to go to Dev HDD0. And now you're going to go to Game. And you're going to look for BLUS30050 because that's where it installed. That's where it told us it was going to install it. Um, and then you're going to go into UserDir, which is short for User Directory. And um, if you sort by date modified, you should see uh, our inverted right there. You can see the these are called short names when they're not uh, when it has a bunch of numbers before it and it has uh, you know a bunch of capital letters. But it does say inverted. Um, now, if you don't want it to show up in game, you can actually go ahead and make a folder called like hide songs in here, right? And then uh, you can go ahead and just drag them in. Drag them in just like that. If these all show up as individual songs, then you can just kind of select as much as you want, and then you can hide them in there. And they will not show up the next time you load up Rock Band 2. And then obviously, if you want to take them out, then you can just select all of these, go back into user dir and paste them back in. And then the next time you load up Rock Band 2, they'll show up. And that's pretty much it, you guys. That's how easy it is to install a custom song on Rock Band 2. And if you want to remove them or hide them, you can go ahead and just make a folder in this directory right here. I'll also put it up on the screen so you guys aren't confused. Um, but yeah, go out, play some Rock Band 2, play some Rock Band 2 Deluxe, or you know, play some Rock Band 3 if you want also. Thank you guys for watching, and Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays.